Hello everyone, I'm Bill, and welcome to Trotliners, the show about catching catfish for the common man. Today I want to talk a little bit about fishing etiquette, or as we in the South call it, common sense. You know, we all go fishing for a lot of different reasons, but most of the time it's just to enjoy the outdoors and a great sport, and to have some time away from the stress. But most of the time you run into these people that have no fishing etiquette or common sense. One of my biggest complaints when I go fishing is about the boat ramp. Stay off the damn thing if you don't have a boat. It's okay to fish off one, but I have actually pulled up to the river, got all my gear ready, and still had to wait for people to pick the crap up and get out of the way. Why are they fishing on the boat ramp? You never hear the story about the new world record that was caught at the bottom of the boat ramp. And when they finally get all their stuff moved out of the way, they had kids with them. I can't see them. So now I'm scared to back my boat down the ramp because I don't know where these kids are. Keep an eye on your kids, keep them off the boat ramp and keep it clear. There's nothing at the bottom of that boat ramp but a bunch of big rocks that you let your kids throw in there to tear up people's boat tires. You know how many bottles and broken glass and stuff there is at the bottom of that boat ramp? Nothing good is ever at the bottom of the boat ramp. Another thing, pick your stuff up and quit littering. Everywhere people go they want to leave their mark with their beer cans or water bottles and just trash in general. You know, they carry all the stuff to the river with them to go fishing. And when they're done, they, they leave their worm boxes and liver boxes and stuff like that all over the place. Just pick the crap up. Just leave the place like you found it. It'll stay much nicer. It's a shame when you gotta tell grown folks to pick their stuff up like a bunch of kids. Another thing, if you happen to be bank fishing with rod and reel, don't go plop your fat butt down next to somebody, right next to them, unless you know them and, and are sure they want you fishing with them. I've seen people, come, I've actually had people at the lake to come up and this is a 150 acre lake and there ain't but six people out there. And these two people have to come right up next to me just because I'm in the spot that they want and start fishing. And then throw their line over my line and then have the nerve to act surprised. Oh, did I cross you? It turned what would have been an otherwise good fishing day into crap in a hurry. People just don't have no respect anymore. You know, even in the boats. They're going down the river. The river is, you know, 100 feet wide. And they want to drive directly at you. And not get over until the last minute. Or we'll be baiting out a line or trying to run a line and, and they come flying down the river and that's fine. Just keep right on moving. If your boat is up on plane, you just go right on around and stay on the other side. Don't slow down to rubberneck at what I'm doing because then your boat pushes up a tremendous wake. And here I am with a line in my hand with hooks all over it and a boat bouncing everywhere. So if you happen to see me out on the river, and you're running your gear and I'm coming and I'm planed off, I'll wave at you, but I am not slowing down because my boat pushes a tremendous wake and I won't be doing you any favors by slowing down. You know, it's not rocket science. It's, hell, it's common sense. Just be polite and respectful. Just because you're out in the woods don't mean you have to act like an animal. And another issue that we have to deal with on the river from time to time is people meddling with your gear. You know, I'm sure every fishing hole and every community around has got this one guy that they know if they see his ass out on the water that they've got to hide everything that they put out and go through a lot of extra work because everybody knows he's the guy that's going to steal your fish if not steal your gear. It's such a common thing these days. You know, I've got, I went and bought me a, uh, an old beater pickup just to carry the boat to the river because I don't like leaving my Jeep in the parking lot. 
especially if you're out there after dark. You'll have people come up and siphon the gas out of your vehicle or just break into it and get what they can out of it. And it's a shame that things have gotten to that point. Now, I don't want you guys to take this the wrong way, and I don't want it to sound like every trip we go out on is awful. It's just little things that's happened over the years. They don't happen all the time. You know, there's the, the usual people that you meet out on the water and that you may know them, you may not, but you may know them from just the water. You know, you see them out there, you know where they're fishing at, and you know what kind of gear they're running. You don't mess with them, they don't mess with you. You know, you might pass them on the, on the water and holler at them, tell them they got a jug going crazy down there, they need to get to it. So it's not all bad. I don't want this to sound like a, a rant or anything. It's just one of those when you go out to the to the water to relax and do some fishing and enjoy yourself just keep other people in mind treat them as if as you want to be treated well I hope you've enjoyed the video watching us pull all of these fish if you haven't already why don't you take a minute to subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications and to thank you very much for sticking with me toward the end of the video I've got some better camera gear, so we'll get some more angles and a little bit better quality footage for you guys. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.